Hello and welcome to uh, Filmatologist, the place on the internet thingy where we just carry on carrying on with what we were doing kind of even two weeks ago. So yeah. we're, we're working on Weber Cups and this week's turn is about the Weber Cup for the classic mini, not the newfangled BMW one thingy, it, I'm talking about the classic kind of British Leyland Austin mini. So what we're going to do is because I've done already the video about how to kind of build a carburetor I'm not going to go through that again a lot I'm going to show you some some differences though in this particular unit that are important but I'm going to mainly go through what's the process of tuning for this sort of units I'll explain later in the video first of all let me show you some um, particularities that this unit has compared to the ones that I've been working on uh, last week. Okay, so this is a slightly newer carb, uh, newer casting, and the reason you know it's a newer casting is because it's got these seals, which you do need to renew um, every time you rebuild them like this, because these carbs have much looser tolerances. So if you look at this, the um, this bearing tend to go straight in with your finger kind of thing so that means the tolerance are kind of looser whilst the others used to seal so therefore that's a difference and then this also has an idle bypass circuit that we're gonna have to build but that we're gonna have to build at the um, uh, at the end so those are for the time being the, the characteristics I, as you can see I've been, I've been making some inroads into the into the build I've already kind of got these things buttoned up so I'm just going to start doing the shafts now. Okay, so now we are at the most crucial part of the rebuild because I've done the basics. And as you can see here on the table, I've got a lot of kind of calibrated bits that are very specific and for a reason that they are here. So let me explain. There is a quite a bit of difference in setting up a weather car for like if we be a, like an independent runner configuration so each each hole of the car each barrel of the car feeds one cylinder and one cylinder only like here to a car like the British Leyland Mini which of course here the, the manifold as you can see one hole of the car feeds two cylinders and this is called a Siamese port now the problem with the Siamese sport is that it needs to be tuned quite differently than a normal one. So, so what I do is I have made a purchase uh, of this book by David Weisert, and he was um, he is still he's still around. He's got his YouTube channel. Go and subscribe to it. And basically, he did a lot of backwards and forwards testing uh, with these carbs. And he arrives at a series of kind of different configurations for these carbs. So what I am going to do is I'm going to set this carb up for a 1275 a modified head. So like a fast road kind of configuration. So I need 35 chokes, which are here. The uh, 145 main jets, 180 on the air corrector, F16 tubes and 45 discharge. Yeah. So that's the kind of configuration in terms of all the calibratable parts. But also, there is another thing that I haven't shown you, and this is again detail that's important. So let me bring you a bit closer. What I've got here in this, um, in this, in this, in this, in this bag here. Let's take it out. Is what Weber calls the pump spill, and, basi and basically what this is is. It's part of the accelerator pump system. So when you when you when you actuate the throttle, this is moving a piston inside there that basically actuates the accelerator pump. In all weather carbs, there is some sort of bleed back through these valves. Yeah? So most most weather carbs they do have a hole here that let fuel out instead of going through the the accelerator pump jets which are these ones yeah 
However, in a in a in a in a Siamese port configuration, this valve cannot have a hole. So it needs to be a so absolutely every single bit of fuel from the pump needs to come through to the accelerator pump if not it's not going to be enough so this is one of the one of the secrets to making this cups work on a kind of Siamese port configuration and the other one very important which I'm going to show you here is as you, as you can see here this is the kind of standard um, spindle screws that come that come with the carbs yeah so these are what I call the Spanish type screws and these are the Italian type screws yeah so if you look at it they protrude quite a bit from the shaft so what I've done here if you can see is I got a, a different set of screws that they basically they present no restriction nearly to to the carb so i have to do this in order to achieve maximum uh, flow area here because 35 chokes is really maxing out the capacity of the carb because you have to follow what i call the rule of five so <clears throat> if you go a faulty bore your maximum choke is five less so 35 as we go here in a 45 you have got 40 as your biggest choke so that's what we're doing here so therefore um and obviously well i've done i've done the the, the floats and everything and obviously i've got this misab uh, plates here you can read it there these are original uh, it's very important and with the with the correct spacers so this is the basic configuration of the car. So now what I need to do is I need to kind of button this unit up uh, and put all the different calibratable components in, uh, adjust it and just put it on the manifold.
Okay, so now as you can see, I've finally managed to kind of button up this unit and even if I say so myself, it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love this 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 cups, this combination. Obviously, I've added the trumpets which are important for this application and also you need short trumpets for this application as well because these calves generally tend to tend to sit in the car you know tend to sit in quite tight spaces of the car and um, so that's you know quite important um, in order to get right so look at this how this thing turned out absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful set of calves look at that it looks really good um, so so this is going to bring us to the end of this uh, kind of weather uh, weather season if you want on the channel I've done three of them now I need to you know move on to other projects uh, so one final thing that I have to say is that you know I've showed you that I've used this book to configure the the carbs now some of you may be asking well how do you know exactly that the thing you know actually is gonna work and uh, basically I've been using this book for a very long time a uh, pre channel I've done about 10 or 15 of this and no not once did did a customer come back and say oh that cover rate saw me that, that configuration was like way off never no not once so this stuff works so trust manuals trust people that you know have more experience than you and you should do well so that's my final reflection uh, for this episode I want to say thank you very much if you've got any comments put it down in the comments and I'll see you on the next episode